Welcome back. Today is Friday. Time for the Click and Point community. People with no to limited IPT experience. People like me. Today we are upgrading a Windows 10 machine to Windows 11. And I didn't even look if it fulfills the hardware requirements or the updates are there. We just do an install and try to figure out how to fix it if it don't work. So let's get started with it. First we go to the website. The link will be in the description below. We download the installation assistant here. Say file. It's probably in my downloads folder. Yes, there it is. So let's see what that thing is doing. We have to go first and do a PC health check. Ay, ay, ay. Get the health check app first. Well, Microsoft, huh? Go figure. I don't want to see the requirements. This thing will tell me if it meets the requirements or not. Okay, so let's uh, try to find a workaround. So what we're going to do here is download an ISO file. Select download 11, click download, and let's do that. Okay, back to our downloads folder. We downloaded the ISO file here. I'm going to open my web browser here and look for a program. And the link will be in the description below. You can use a portable version or an installer. It's completed already. Now we select that ISO image from our downloads folder. And here we can select no secure port, no TPM. And then hit start. After it's done, we boot the PC from our USB flash drive. So now it's done. Now we restart the system and boot from our USB flash drive. We will see. It seems like it takes a while. It's 1% now, so I don't know how long this will take.
Now it's downloading updates. Seems like it upgraded without a issue. That's it. Please give this video a like. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. It really helps me out and I appreciate that. And you guys have a great week.